Hey everybody, thanks for clicking on this video. Today we're going to be practicing Gaussian elimination. If you want to follow along, the links to the companion worksheet are in the description below. So let's get started. Oh, before we do get started, don't forget, click that subscribe button so you can be aware and up to date on all the videos that we have coming out from this channel. So what are we doing here? Well, what we want to do is, when you look at a matrix, you want to look at this diagonal of numbers. And what we want is we want all of these to be ones. That's what we're going for when we do Gaussian elimination. And then what we do is we want all of these numbers right here to be zeros. So how do we get there? Well, what we do is we use row operations. So what we do is we want to start in the upper left-hand corner. We want that to be a one. Now what's nice is it already is a one. And so once we get this to be a 1, the next thing we do is we look beneath it. And we say everything else, we have to change that. Everything else has to be a, has to be a 0 now. All right, so let me write this first row again. 1, negative 1, 2, negative 3. Now, which row operation is going to turn this, this 2 into a 0? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to multiply row 1 times negative 2 and add it. So row, row 2 minus 2 row 1. So what we're going to do is we're going to take 1 and then we're going to say all right times negative 2 plus negative 2 plus 2 is 0. And then we're, we're going to do that for each number here. So we multiply this by negative 2 so that's 2 plus 1 is 3. This times negative 2 is negative 4 plus negative 1 gives us negative 5. Negative 3 times negative 2 is 6 plus 0 is 6. So now we've got our 1 and we've got our 0. So now we want to look down at this row and we want this to be a 0. So what do we do? Well we're going to take our 1 because that's what we do we say, all right, what, what number in this column is a 1? We're going to work with that to make all the others disappear. So we did that for this row in the middle by taking all the values times negative 2. Now that ended up canceling this out. So here, well, we just add it. Take 1 plus negative 1 is 0. So that's the row operation we're going to do here. Row 3 plus row 1. So I take negative 1. 1 plus negative 1 is 0. Negative 1 plus 2, that is going to be 1. 2 and negative 3 is negative 1. And then negative 3 and 7, that gives us 4. All right, so now we've got our first step. We've got a 1, we've got all the zeros beneath it. So now what we do is now we go over to the next column and we say, all right, we need this number to be a 1. So what do we do? Well, right now it's not, it's a 3. Now, we could multiply this row by one-third, but that's going to end up with some fractions here. And if you notice, this number is a 1. So what we can do is we can just switch these two rows. So we can just do an R2, 3 and say, you know what, let's have them swap. We'll do that. So the first row doesn't move. But now the third row will now be the second row. And now the third, the second row will be the third row. All right. So now we've got a one, zeros beneath it. We've got a one here. So now what we have to do is we have to get a zero beneath this. So what do we do? Well, we take this row and we say, all right, we're going to take row three and we're going to add row two negative three times. So we're going to multiply this by negative 3 and add it. And that's going to give us a 0 down there. All right. So our first row will not change. And our second row will not change. So 0 and 0, it's going to stay a 0. 1 times negative 3 is negative 3 plus 3 is 0, just what we wanted. Negative 1 times negative 3 is 3 plus negative 5 is negative 2. 4 times negative 3 
is negative 12. Plus 6 is negative 6. All right, so now we've got a 0. So all we have to do now is we just have to get this to be a 1. So what we're going to do is we're going to take row 3 and multiply by negative 1 half. And that's going to leave the first two rows unchanged. So 1, negative 1, 2, negative 3, 0, 1, negative 1, 4. All right, these are both zeros, so they don't change. One, negative 1 half times 2 is 1. Negative 1 half times 6 is 3. And there we go. We have 1s in the diagonals, and we have zeros beneath them. So we used row operations to get this into what we call row echelon form. So let's look at the next example. Now here, we're not given a 1 to start with, but that's okay. Because if you notice, all of these are all divisible by 3. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this row and multiply by 1 third. So 1 third times row 1 will be our first operation. So 1, 2, 3, negative 2. And that second row is going to be left unchanged. So now we've got our 1 where we want it. So underneath that, we're going to want this to be a 0. So what are we going to do? We're going to take row 2. And we're going to take row 1 times negative 2. So if I write this again, row 1 is going to stay unchanged. So we take negative 2 times 1 is negative 2 plus 2 is 0. 2 times negative 2 is negative 4 plus 5 is 1. 3 times negative 2 is negative 6 plus 5 is negative 1. Negative 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. No, that's positive 4. Plus negative 3 is positive 1. And so now we've got a 1 here, we've got a 0 here. So now looking at the second column, up oh, we've got a 1. So right now this is in row echelon form because what did we want? We wanted these to be 1s and we wanted that to be a 0. And there we go. We've done it. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have suggestions or problems you want to see worked out, type a comment below. To support the channel, click the Patreon link to help keep this going. Thanks so much for watching. And remember, the best way to understand something is to do it.